I hate to say it, but there weren't a whole lot of great fighting games released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. From Urban Champion, to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, to that one mode in Double Dragon, the selection was woefully limited and not much fun to play. If only the NES had Roof Rage, the brand new throwback fighting game starring a bunch of 8-bit samurai slashing their way to victory high above the city streets. It's basically Smash Bros for people who have a shelf full of Criterion Collection Blu-rays. Which pretty much makes me, and possibly only me, the target audience for this fun little fighter. The name Roof Rage does a terrible job of conveying just how cool this game is. You play one of 12 fighters plucked out of the last 70 years of Japanese cinema. The goal is to face off against at least one other opponent in a high-stakes game of hacking, slashing, kicking, and throwing fireballs. And because most of the levels are set on rooftops, you'll also be able to smack the opponent right off the level and down to their death below. Now, if you've played a Smash Bros game, or any of the recent string of clones, then you'll feel right at home with Roof Rage. The gameplay is purposely simple, with a real emphasis on fast-paced action and matches that end with the bad guy flying off the screen. There's a standard attack button and also a special move. And if you find yourself getting kicked off the stage, you'll be able to double, triple, and even quadruple jump your way back to safety. Of course, all this makes sense when you look at the cast. Roof Rage is full of every ninja and samurai movie mainstay. From the hero swordsman with a bloody past, to the wise old man that throws needles, to the female assassin with a deadly staff. There's a street fighter who throws fireballs, a sumo wrestler with a bad temper, a punk character with a bat, and even a pistol-wielding man who shares more than a striking resemblance to Leon the Professional. This is an instantly likable cast filled with characters that bring a lot of different fighting styles and weapons to the table, which does a good job of keeping this from being a series of repetitive sword fights. Now, with only two action buttons to worry about, Roof Rage is incredibly easy to get into. There are massive differences between the characters, but the basics remain the same no matter who you pick. While there's a real push to be accessible to all skill levels, that doesn't mean that the fighting mechanics are shallow. The developers make the most out of the two-button controls, giving us a lot of moves to learn and master. You won't be able to beat every opponent in the exact same way, as the different types of levels will force you to mix up the strategy and try something new. The action is always exciting, and I can't imagine how intense the fights would be with high-level players. Unfortunately, it's the roof part of Roof Rage that proves to be the weakest part of the game. I like the level designs for the most part, but it feels like the developers didn't do enough with them. There are a few stages where the separate roofs ultimately hurt the flow of the action, while the others aren't even roofs at all. I wish the developers would have found a way to give each setting a little bit more personality, especially when it comes to the obstacles. There's this one stage where he can get knocked around by a train, but that kind of thing is limited to a single location. I would have liked to have seen more of that. I also wish the game had more of a story. I love the look of the characters, but we don't learn enough about them in Roof Rage. This is a game that needs some sort of intro movie, or maybe an ending or two. I mean, it's not like I expected hours and hours of cinemas like in Mortal Kombat 11, but a few character bios would have gone a long way to make me invested in these fighters. Without endings or many extras to unlock, there isn't a whole lot to do here for a solo player. Don't get me wrong, fighting against the computer is fast and exciting. This is a game that is meant to be played with friends, and in that case it excels. This is a great choice for people who like fighting games, but don't want to spend a lot of time mastering frame combos and lengthy special moves. You can pick it up quickly and have no problem putting up a good fight. And for those who want to put in the extra time, they'll be rewarded with a deep experience with a great cast of characters. Oh man, I'm simultaneously excited and terrified to see what the competition looks like when the online multiplayer mode gets added. Oh, will I even stand a chance?
Don't let the throwback visuals fool you because Roof Rage is an intense little fighting game that is every bit as fun as it is fast. With an exciting and wonderfully varied cast of characters that all bring something new to the table, there's a lot of hidden depth in what at first appears to be a simple game. The weak link is the level designs, which only scratch the surface of what's possible. Without endings, cinemas, or extras, solo players may end up finding the experience a bit on the repetitive side. At least until the online mode arrives, of course. However, as a multiplayer party game, there's no question that Roof Rage soars to some pretty impressive heights. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite 2D fighting game? That's right, I'm only looking for 2D fighters, so don't you dare come at me with Tekken or Virtua Fighter or Battle Arena Tochinda. Oh, especially not Battle Arena Tochinda. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, next week is going to be crazy. We have a Game Over episode on Monday, our holiday series announcement on Tuesday, and then it's the return of a hugely popular series on Thursday. Yeah, seriously, we're going to tackle a lot next week. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.